There's no intro today because the first story is so big, it's kind of an intro in and of itself. Apparently, Windows 11 is a real thing and not a fever dream that we all collectively experienced while baking in this crazy heat wave. You know what I mean? I, do. I feel like a french fry in this weather. I'm a fry! Anyways, it turns out the leaked version of the OS was legit, meaning Windows 11 brings a new glassy looking UI and improvements to touch, multitasking, and separate desktop environments. Teams is also built in, which is fine. And there's widgets, which people use. Gamers will be pleased by Xbox Game Pass integration and support for auto HDR and direct storage, which will make games prettier and faster. Kind of like a model that just had an energy drink. Like that one? It's a dumb joke. Yeah. And Android apps will be available in the Microsoft Store. Awesome. Through an Amazon App Store integration. Wow, less awesome. But sideloading will be a thing. Awesomer. The bigger thing though is how the Microsoft Store will allow developers to keep 100% of their revenue if they use third-party commerce engines, but not for games. For some reason. But Microsoft also wants Steam and the Epic Game Store to be in the Microsoft Store. Confused? It's okay. Windows 11's TPM module requirement is way more confusing than that because Microsoft didn't mention it at all in their presentation and now people are scalping chips that most people won't need. Basically, most somewhat modern PCs will have no trouble upgrading to Windows 11 for free, but some custom-built desktop users and IT admins might have to enable the TPM setting in the BIOS. And yeah, it's a bit more complicated than that actually, but uh, what do you think this is? A Linus Tech Tips video? We actually are gonna do a video about that. Users of Western Digital's MyBook external drives were horrified to discover their devices had been wiped this week. Western Digital says that the likely culprit was malware that took advantage of an unpatched vulnerability known as CVE 2018-018-472. I mean, I wouldn't try to patch that either. It doesn't sound very threatening. Some users have managed to salvage a bit of their data using recovery tools, but others have had no luck partially because many MyBook drives use encryption. WD is recommending users to disconnect their drives from the internet as a precaution while they work on the problem, which makes sense because that is where malware babies come from. It's actually where a lot of bad things come from. Have so have you seen the internet? And the rollout of Google's Flock system, which is designed to make third-party cookies obsolete, is being delayed to 2023 after backlash from regulators worldwide, as well as other advertisers and the public, and really pretty much everyone. I didn't like it. On the surface, it seems like preventing random advertisers from accessing your data is good, but then having Google be the sole collector of your data seems like not the solution to that. Mozilla seems like they might have one alternative idea about what to do with our data. How about giving it to scientists? The company's Rally platform will allow users to share their browsing data with computer scientists and sociologists who will inject it with hormones to see what happens to the... It turns into a frog. No, it'll be used to analyze trends and inform studies about how people consume and share information. It won't help you see relevant ads about 50 other coats you might like after you search for a coat one time, and by the way, actually already bought it, but thanks for trying. But hey, the scientists will really appreciate it. They do love data. And coats. Riley, do you have a sponsor for me? I do. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Brilliant, AKA the fun way to learn stuff. <laughs> You see, Brilliant has over 60 courses from basic logic and deduction to quantum computing, but there's no harsh grading, long lectures, or strict time limits. Brilliant's courses use active learning, where solving problems means playing around with visual concepts and interacting with pieces of a story that you put together. And you can learn about anything. Take the cryptocurrency and applied probability courses and win the meme stonk race to the moon. I don't know, but first, race to our link below because the first 200 people to click it get 20% off. So join Brilliant and its community of 8 million learners and educators at brilliant.org slash techlinked today. Butt quarks made by and for scientists. They shouldn't have. The US House Judiciary Committee has approved a bill that could prohibit big tech companies from favoring their own products and could even force some companies to sell off certain divisions if they're deemed too anti-competitive but the bill still has to go through voting in Congress and the Senate. So don't worry, nothing in your life will change too drastically just yet. Just keep on scrolling for now. 
Valve has limited the amount of times that users can change their Steam account's country in an effort to crack down on people using VPNs to buy games for cheaper in a different currency. Good news for Valve, bad news for gamers who just happen to travel to more than two new countries every three months. If you're one of those gamers, you have my condolences. What are we gonna do with the LMG PJ? Google will reduce the cut of app sales they take from Android developers from 30% to 15%. All they have to do is develop versions of their app for additional platforms like Android TV, Wear OS, and Android Auto. It's unclear how this program interacts with Google's existing 15% policy for devs making under a million dollars, but I have a feeling that it doesn't. Hey look, it's the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Flip 3 5G. Leaked images were shared by Evan Blass and the devices showed up in an FCC filing, so chances are we're gonna see these in a Samsung event fairly soon. Maybe one will foldy flip its way over to you. <laughs> that would actually be kind of awful to see. And don't miss the Steam Summer Sale that's happening right, I was wondering why games are so cheap. Steam Summer Sale happening right now. If your wallet has the self-control to not jump at every deal it sees. I mean, I've trained mine very carefully. It almost never jumps, see, watch, look. No, oh my god, it did jump! And it jumped right out of this episode. Goodbye, we had so much fun. Come back on Monday for more fun tech news. We do love fun here. You're having fun, I can tell. <laughs>